Welcome to this demonstration of how the vCloud Director Tenant Portal can be used to manage independent disks and how storage policies can be reviewed. The use of independent disks within vCloud Director allows updates of virtual machines without impacting the underlying data. Independent disks are standalone virtual disks that you create in organization VDCs. Organization administrators and users who have the respective rights can create remove and update independent disks and connect them to virtual machines. Be aware that the vCloud Director independent disk is not related to the VMware vSphere functionality of an independent disk. After logging in to the vCloud Director tenant portal, navigate to the Data Centers page and click the Org VDC where you want to create the independent disk. Within the Storage section, click Independent Disk. As you can tell from the list, currently a single independent disk has been created. To create a new independent disk, click New. Provide a name and you can optionally include a description. Select the proper storage policy. This storage policy defines where the disk is going to be stored and defines the size for the disk. Be aware that the size definition here is in byte. When we are going to create a 500 megabyte disk, we type in 524,288,000. The bus type and the bus subtype have an impact on the SCSI controller that will be used to mount the independent disk to the virtual machine. Since we are planning to use the virtual disk with a Windows 2016 operating system that has VMware tools installed, we can select SCSI and the Power Virtual SCSI controller, which is optimized for high throughput with lesser CPU demand. Click Save and the independent disk is created. When you create an independent disk, it is associated with an organization VDC, but not with a virtual machine. After you create the disk in a VDC, the disk owner or an administrator can attach it to any virtual machine deployed in the VDC. The disk owner can also modify the disk properties, detach it from a virtual machine, and remove it from the VDC. System administrators and organization administrators have the same rights to use and modify the disk as the disk owner. To attach or detach the disk to or from a virtual machine, you need to use the vCloud Director API. If you want to delete an independent disk, make sure it is unmounted from all VMs and that your user has either been assigned the organization administrator role or disk owner rights. Let's see how the operations and deletion tasks look like in the vCloud Director tenant portal. Select the independent disk that you want to change and click Edit. You can now change the name, the description, the storage policy and increase the size of the disk. After clicking Save, the changes will be applied. Once an independent disk is unmounted from a VM, it can be deleted by selecting the disk and click Delete. Confirm the deletion and the independent disk will disappear from the list. An organization virtual data center requires storage for apps and vApp templates. You can allocate storage from the space available on the service provider data stores. These provider data stores are abstracted to the organization in the form of a storage policy. Whenever a workload or catalog item is placed in the Org VDC, a storage policy needs to be specified. The vCloud Director Tenant Portal can be used to review existing storage policies within an Org VDC, its metadata, how much space is used, and if the storage policies are limited in space. Click Storage Policies to receive a list with all available storage policies within the organization VDC. You can see the status, the default storage policy that will always be pre-selected when creating a catalog item or a workload, and you can see how much space is used and if the storage policy has been limited by the service provider. This concludes this demonstration of how the vCloud Director Tenant Portal can be used to create, modify and delete independent disks and how the organization administrator can review existing storage policies. Thanks for watching.